mystifying stories and cryptic tales. This is Savannah Voodoo. The Andrew Low House, nestled in the heart of Savannah, Georgia, stands as a testament to the rich history and enduring mysteries of one of America's most haunted cities. Built in 1848 for Andrew Lowe, a wealthy cotton merchant, the house is an exquisite example of Savannah's antebellum architecture. Located on Lafayette Square, the Andrew Lowe House has witnessed over a century and a half of Savannah's history, from the prosperity of its early days to the trials of the Civil War and beyond. The house itself is renowned not just for its architectural beauty, but also for its ghost stories, which have captivated the imaginations of residents and visitors alike. Among the most famous spectral residents is said to be Juliet Gordon Lowe, founder of the Girl Scouts of the USA and daughter-in-law to Andrew Lowe. Juliet, who was known for her vibrant spirit and dedication to the empowerment of young girls, is believed to still wander the halls of her family's home, ensuring its preservation and perhaps overseeing the Girl Scout troops that frequently visit. In addition to Juliet Gordon Lowe, there have been reports of other ghostly presences within the house, including that of Andrew Lowe himself and several unidentified figures. Visitors and staff have recounted eerie occurrences, such as unexplained sounds, sudden drops in temperature, and sightings of apparitions dressed in period clothing. Whether these tales stem from actual supernatural activity, or the rich imagination that Savannah's historic atmosphere inspires, the Andrew Lowe House remains a fascinating destination for those interested in history, architecture, and the paranormal. Its legacy as a part of Savannah's haunted landscape only adds to its allure, making it a must-see for anyone exploring the enchanting city of Savannah, Georgia. Our first tale takes us to the heart of Savannah, where the Juliet Gordon Lowe birthplace stands as a monument to her life and work. It's said that on certain nights when the moon casts a soft glow over the city, the sounds of laughter and chatter can be heard emanating from the old house. Witnesses claim to see the flicker of candlelight through the windows as if a meeting were taking place. But these aren't just any gatherings, they are said to be Juliet, affectionately known as Daisy by her friends, holding court with a troop of spectral scouts she teaches them the same values and skills she imparted to young girls over a century ago, ensuring her legacy endures not just in the physical world, but in the spiritual one as well. In another part of the house, a portrait of Juliet Gordon Lowe hangs, capturing her likeness with striking clarity. Visitors often feel drawn to this painting, sensing an intense gaze following them as they move about the room. Some say that Juliet's spirit is tied to this portrait, watching over the house and its guests. There are stories of the painting's eyes seeming to glow with an inner light during the night, and some have even reported seeing a gentle smile flicker across Juliet's painted lips, as if she's pleased with the continued interest and respect for her life's work. Behind the historic home lies a secret garden, a serene spot that Juliet loved deeply in life. It's here that the most personal encounters with her spirit are reported. Individuals seeking solace or guidance have found themselves drawn to this garden only to feel an inexplicable presence beside them. Soft whispers carried on the breeze, the scent of Juliet's favorite flowers suddenly intensifying and a feeling of comforting warmth are common experiences. Those who have felt her presence here claim that Juliet continues to offer support and encouragement, especially to those who are involved with the Girl Scouts or who are facing challenges in their own lives. Ensconced within the walls of the Andrew Lowe House is that of the staircase to nowhere. 
Originally designed for architectural beauty and functionality, the staircase now serves as a playground for a mischievous spectral child. Guests and staff alike report hearing the sound of small feet running up and down the stairs, accompanied by innocent laughter that fades into the air. Toys from bygone eras occasionally appear on the steps, only to vanish without a trace. Some believe the child is the spirit of a former resident, unwilling to leave the joys of his earthly home. This story not only adds a playful twist to the haunted lore of the mansion, but also a poignant reminder of the past's lingering presence. Perhaps the most heart-stirring of these spectral tales is that of the unknown child, often heard crying in the dead of night. Some speculate this to be the spirit of one of the low children who died young, trapped in a liminal space between worlds. The sound of soft sobbing disrupts the stillness, tugging at the heartstrings of those who hear it, a poignant reminder of the family's tragic losses. Among the many mysteries of the Andrew Lowe house, one of the most enchanting involves the sound of a piano playing in the dead of night. The music, both beautiful and melancholic, seems to emanate from the drawing room, where an antique piano sits silent in the daylight. No one has ever seen the pianist, leading to speculation that a former resident or guest of the Lowe family, perhaps a talented musician, continues to perform beyond the grave. This story captures the hearts of those who believe the mansion is not just a place of eerie hauntings, but also of undying passion and artistry. The most chilling of the Andrew Lowhouse tales centers around the figure of a stern, ghostly general, believed to be none other than Andrew Lowe himself. Staff and visitors report encountering a spectral figure in 19th century military attire, his gaze piercing through the veil of time. The general is most often seen in the study where the air grows cold and the faint sound of orders being issued can be heard. Some speculate that he remains to oversee the preservation of his legacy, ensuring the house remains as grand as in his time. This haunting tale serves as a testament to the mansion's rich history and the enduring nature of its original occupant spirit. These stories, each unique in their details, weave a tapestry of intrigue and mystery around the figure of Andrew Lowe. They serve as a testament to Savannah's rich history and its enduring fascination with the world beyond our own. Whether seen as mere folklore or evidence of the paranormal, the sightings of Andrew Lowe's ghost continue to captivate and intrigue, making the Andrew Lowe house a must-visit for those seeking to touch the ethereal fabric of Savannah's storied past. <laughs>